if you need to expand three or more brackets, then uh, you can't really draw a three uh, three-way kind of grid, a three-dimensional grid, in order to expand them. So what you really need to think about doing is just choose two of the brackets to expand first and then deal with expanding the two brackets that you're left with. So what I mean by that is if I've got x plus 1 cubed, for example, I'm going to look at x plus 1 times x plus 1 times x plus 1. And if I worry about expanding two of the brackets first, which is x squared plus 2x plus 1, I am left with multiplying out two brackets instead. OK, so that's really how we're going to extend this. So you can multiply this out using a grid if you prefer. Uh, I'm going to go straight out and go x, cube, x squared times x, so x cubed, x squared times 1, 2x times x, so 2x squared, 2x times 1, 1 times x, and 1 times 1. So we get x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 1. Now if you've looked at binomial expansion by this point, then that should be you should be able to recognise where those numbers, the coefficients, have come from. If you haven't looked at binomial expansion yet, you might want to look into how uh, these two things connect. Okay. So that's the first one. Let's have a look at the second. Number two, we've got x plus 2 times 2x minus 3 times 3x minus 2. So I'm going to choose to expand the first two brackets. So 2x squared, then we're going to get 2x times 2, so 4x, and a minus 3x, so plus x, and then minus 6. So I've now got two brackets to expand. So 2x squared times 3x gets me 6x cubed. 2x squared times minus 2, so minus 4x squared. x times 3x makes 3x squared. x times minus 2, so minus 2x. Minus 6 times 3x is minus 18x. And minus 6 times minus 2 is plus 12. So we have 6x cubed. Uh, minus 4x squared plus 3x squared makes minus x squared. Minus 2x take away 18x is minus 20x and plus 12 on the end. OK, so that's the second one expanded. And then the third, this time we've got four brackets. So what I would do at this stage is expand the first two brackets. So 2x times 3x makes uh, 6x squared. 2x times minus 4 is minus 8x plus 3x and minus 5x, and we're going to get minus 4. And then I would expand the second two brackets. So we're going to get x squared uh, plus x minus 30. Now, the reason why I wouldn't then multiply that one by ne the next one and then multiply that by the next one is because it just it takes longer. Okay, So I'm trying to speed this process up a bit. So you can use a grid if you prefer, to multiply this out. Uh, 6x squared times x squared is 6x to the 4. Then 6x squared times x makes 6x cubed. 6x squared times minus 30 is uh, minus 180x squared. Uh, then we've got minus 5x times x squared, so minus 5x cubed. Notice how I'm going to start putting the x cubes underneath one another, and the x squareds and the x's. So we've done those two. Minus 5x times x is minus 5x squared. And then minus 5x times minus 30 is plus 150x uh, then we've got the minus 4 times x squared, so minus 4x squared. Minus 4 times x, so minus 4x. And then minus 4 times minus 30 is plus 120. So we have 6x to the 4. We've got 6x cubed minus 5x cubed, so plus x cubed. 
minus 180x squared minus 5x squared minus 4x squared gets me minus 189x squared. And then 150x take away 4x is plus 146x. And then you've got the 120 on the end. Okay? And that is the expansion of those four brackets.